I normally share tips and tricks for how to work better at home during the coronavirus, and I'm doing that on a daily basis. Today got away from me, so this is going to be a little bit of a different format. I wanted to share um, something that I think is really important for us to think about uh, in these times when things seem kind of scary. So I'm Jonathan. I help people work better together online through more accountability and freedom. And what I want to talk about is opportunity. Um, we're looking at this whole situation in a fairly negative light and people are scared. They're working at home for the first time in some cases. And for people that aren't used to it, it can actually be really lonely and people can, you, you might find that you have to be with yourself in a way that you haven't before, that there's kind of a void there when, you know, when you, when you sit and you're quiet and you're not distracted and there's nothing else, um, you really, if you really tune in, you, it turns out you have to face up to what one colleague, one of my colleagues called, you know, the void. Um, and she said that you do get through it. Uh, you know, I, I hope that uh, I can have her on sometime and she can talk about it in more detail. Uh, cause she's a brilliant woman. Um, but with regards to opportunity, there's two main things I wanted to share. Um, you know, we're thinking that we're, we're not at, we're, we, we're not with our colleagues. We're, we're alone in the office. They're far away. We feel disconnected from them, but I want you to consider this. And it's really quite literally true. You are now just as close to your colleagues as you are to every other human being on the planet. Anything you do with your colleagues, you can do with anybody in the world. You can collaborate with anyone in the world just the same as you do with the team that you've been working with for years. So there's actually an opportunity here to become more connected to the, to the broader world and to discover your, your team, discover your tribe, find people that have common interests, that are on common life trajectories, uh, that are sharing similar challenges, and learn from them and be with them and create community with them. So while it may seem like, oh, we have to work at home and I haven't seen my, my friends and my colleagues and all this, um, there's actually a real opportunity here to reach out and create connections that can span continents, time zones. Um, so please consider that. The other thing I wanted to talk about was the idea that um, for leaders, you know, some, I, I was on a call yesterday and I was talking to a leader and he was, he was talking about how he's concerned that he's like losing, he's losing his grip on people. And he wanted to know, like, are, you know, are people at their desk? Are they working? How, how do I know? Um, and this is really an opportunity to change the way people work by giving them more accountability and creating structures that will support them and allow them to make good decisions on behalf of the business that you couldn't that you can't do in a traditional environment. So if you're a business leader, if you're a manager or a team leader, you know, we talk about servant leadership. This is an opportunity to use questions and do uh, do things, use structures that can actually support people in becoming more autonomous, give them more freedom instead of trying to have more control with more check-ins and making sure your vid your camera's turned on during, during your video calls, um, this is really a chance to train your teammates to, have, to, to take more accountability for the success of the business. Um, I was on a webcast, uh, just to, I guess it was just this morning. Today's really flying by. Uh, and it was, all about how to, it was all about new techniques for working from home. And there were 250 people on the webcast and there were five experts from around the world on the call. And it was all things like, it was tactics. It was things like, oh, you should, you know, leave your webcam on so we can all see each other. And, oh, do virtual happy hours and have some connection time. Uh, those are all great things to do. But the real thing that we missed here is that this is a chance to transform the way we work, to transform our relationship to ourselves and our work. So um, that's a lot of the work that I do um, with decentralization and distributed authority uh, you can look up the Teal Movement, Reinventing Organizations is a great book to read to learn more about it. Holacracy has a way of changing people's lives that causes them to become more autonomous as human beings. Uh, there's a great book on that, and that's also something I, I, uh, I teach a lot about. Um, so please consider that there's a chance here to put new structures in place that really support you and support your organization and actually make the organization more resilient and more capable over time. This is a chance to break out of the old patterns. A lot of us have been doing this for years, and now everyone's been just thrust into it. They have to do it. 
Uh, so please embrace it. And please, if I can help, just reach out. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Uh, I wish you success and happiness and peace in your self-management journey. Like this is, this, sorry, different topic. This is not a self-management journey. This is working at home. I wish you uh, success and comfort working at home. Okay, that's all I have. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.